Greetings to you all. Welcome to class 9, Social Science Unit 5, The Classical World. Dear children, today we are going to do the book back exercise. Roman number 1, choose the correct answer. Dash is a Greek city-state which resisted the Persians to the end. So which is the Greek city which resisted the Persians? Your options are Acropolis, Sparta, Athens, Rome. Which one? Athens. Athens is a Greek city state which resisted Persians to the end. Second one, the other name for Greeks was Dash. So Greek, 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 no name in a, your options are Hellenist, Hellens, Phoenicians, Spartans. So Greek, 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 no name, Hellens, B option. Third one, the founder of Han Dynasty was Dash. Who founded that? Your options are Uti, Hung Chao, Liu Pang, Mangu Khan. And the answer is Liu Pang. Fourth question, Dash was the Roman governor responsible for the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Who was responsible? Your options are Innocent I, Hildebrandt, Leo I, Pontius Pilate. So, Pontius Pilate is only responsible for the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Fifth one children, Peloponnesian War was fought between Dash and Dash. Your options are Greeks and Persians, Plebeians and Patricians, Spartans and Athenians, Greeks and Romans. So this war is fought between Spartans and Athenians. Moving on to option 2, fill in the blanks. Greeks defeated the Persians at a dash. So where did Greeks defeat them? Marathon. Second one, dash stood in favor of poor peasants in Roman Republic. Tiberius, Gracchus and Gracius do Gracchus stood in favor of the poor peasants in Roman Republic. Third one, Buddhism came to China from India during the reign of Dash dynasty. So when did it come? During Han dynasty. Fourth one, the most significant building in Europe was Dash. So which is the most significant building? St. Sophia Cathedral. Fifth one, Dash and Dash were magistrates in Rome. So Maurius and Sulla were magistrates in Rome. Third, Roman number children, find out the correct statement. I'll read a few and you can tell which is correct. First one, first Persian attack on Greece failed. Second one, the downfall of Roman Empire is attributed to Julius Caesar. Third one, the barbarians who invaded Rome were considered to be culturally advanced. Fourth one, Buddhism weakened the Roman Empire. So in this one, which is correct? A or B, A option. One is correct. B, second option is correct. C, two and three are correct. D, fourth is correct. The answer is one is right. First Persian attack on Greece failed. Second one, Eleusis developed a model for the motion of planets and stars. Second one, Romans established a republic after overthrowing Etruscans. Third one, Acropolis became a famous slave market. Fourth one, Roman and Carthage united to drive out the Greeks. So which one is right? Options A means one is right. Option B, second one is right. Option C, second and fourth are right. Option D, fourth is right. I think fourth is right. Roman and Carthage united to drive out Greeks. Third question children. First one. Silk Road was closed during the Han dynasty. Peasants uprisings posed threats to Athenian democracy. Virgil's Aeneid glorified Roman imperialism. Fourth one. Spartacus killed Julius Caesar. Which one is right? Option A. First is right. Option B, second one is right. Option C, two and four are right. Option D, third is right. So which one is right? Third one is right. Virgil's Aeneid glorified Roman imperialism. Fourth question, Roman Emperor Marcus 
Arulis was a tyrant. Second one, Romulus Arulis was the most admired ruler of Roman history. Third one, Abius was a famous Carthaginian general. Fourth one, Tacitus was respected more than Livy as a historian. So your options are. A first is right. Option B second one is right. Option C second and third are right. Option D fourth one is right. So option D fourth one is right. Tacitus is respected more than Livy as a historian. Fifth question, children. Buddhism went to China from Japan. Second one. After crucifixion of Jesus, Saint Thomas spread the Christian doctrine. Third one. Saint Sophia Cathedral was the most magnificent building. in europe fourth one tarjan was one of the worst dictators that rome had so which one is right option a is first one is right option b second one is right option c third one is right option d fourth one is right option c is right saint sophia cathedral was the most magnificent building in europe already we studied no okay children so moving on to fourth roman number match the following so we have five topics acropolis plato marius zeus epicurus so acropolis means a fortified city plato he is a philosopher marius he is a consul zeus athens fifth one epicurus means materialist Fine children. Moving on to fifth Roman number. Answer the following briefly. First one. Attempt an account of slavery in Rome. Slavery in Rome. Prisoners of war were enslaved in Rome and thus produced a new labor force for the rich to exploit. Okay, rich. Uh, they were exploiting poor people. Second one. big land holders brought slaves cheaply and used them to cultivate their estates so big landlords peri peri ivangala paavangala pudichittu vandha they made them to work in their estates by the first century bc total strength of free population was 3.25 million the slave population was 2 million so yosichu parangala actually 3 million da irukudhu adula 2 million people are slaves Slave labor led to the impoverishment of free labor, and the children ended up in the slave market. Abungalu slave, abungalu porakar kornenglu slave maridche. Okay, question number two. Highlight the main contribution of Constantine. So his um, highlights will do Constantine. The refusal of the Christians to pay respect to the emperor's image was viewed as political reason. Christians were persecuted and thrown to the lions but the Roman empire did not succeed in suppressing christianity so christianity was just spreading like forest fire but apri spread agumbodum there were some uh, countries which banned christianity christian vali padravangala kola pandrathu thooki theel podrathu christian vanangrathu midikkanum thuppi podanum or something like that plenty of things christians are prosecuted that oh bayangara avangalu tunburthranga one of the roman emperors constantine himself became a christian and christianity became the official religion of the empire adukaprama and the emperor krishna maarana prama entire thing became christianity okay what's the next question third one what do you know of the carthaginian leader hannibal Carthaginian the three wars fought between the two powers Rome of Italy and Carthage of North Africa are called Punic Wars the general of Carthage Hannibal defeated the Roman army and made a great part of Italy a desert in the second Punic War Fabius who led the Romans confronted Hannibal and defeated him in the battle of Zama pursued by Roman army Hannibal ended his life by poisoning himself thanne kola pannitaanga it means suicide in the third war Carthage was destroyed third war oda entire thing was destroyed 
Okay, moving on to fourth question. What were the reasons for the prosperity of Han Empire? The Han Empire once again threw open the Silk Road for trade and the large export trade mainly in silk reached as far as the Roman Empire. Artisans and herders of rival barbarian dynasties in the north brought in new techniques like the methods of harnessing horses, use of saddle in the stirrup, techniques of building bridges and mountain roads and safe rearing. Such innovations made Han Empire prosperous and rivaled that of Rome in size of wealth. That is why you have to say techniques like methods of harnessing horse. You have to train the horse in the horse. You have to sad in the stirrup. Sad in the stirrup. Techniques of building bridges. You have to do the mountain road. You have to do safe rearing. You have to do the safe rearing. You have to do the safe rearing. This is the innovation. He became very famous. Fifth question children. write about St. Sophia Cathedral. St. Sophia Cathedral, the most magnificent building in Europe, St. Sophia Cathedral was built in mid-60th century AD. It was known for its innovative architectural techniques. When the Ottoman Perks captured Constantinople, this, this cathedral was turned into a mosque. In the church, cathedral, uh, ஆனால் அவங்க அதை பிடிச்ச உடனே என்ன பண்ணிட்டாங்க த மேட் திஸ் கத்திட்ரல் இன்டு மாஸ்க் ஒரு பள்ளி வாசல் மாதிரி மாற்றிட்டாங்க ஓகே சில்ட்ரன் நான் மூவிங் ஆன் டு த நெக்ஸ்ட் கொஸ்டின் சிக்ஸ்த் ரோம நம்பர் ஆன்சர் த ஃபாலோயிங் இன் டீடெயில் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஒன் டிஸ்கஸ் த ரைஸ் அண்ட் க்ரோத் ஆஃப் ஏத்தன்ஸ் ரைஸ் ஆஃப் ஏத்தன்ஸ் இன் ஏத்தன்ஸ் த ப்ரெஷர் ஃப்ரம் பிலோ ரிசல்ட் த ஃபார்மேஷன் ஆஃப் டெமோக்ரஸி The law-making power was vested in an assembly open to all free men. Judges and lower officials were chosen by lots. The upper classes considered democracy to be the rule of the mole. Okay, so Ethan's lab buying the pressure and they themselves only decide everything. Now, if you see the growth, the Persian danger has united Ethan's. the greeks when the danger was removed they started quarreling again marbadiyu quarrel satanda podranga the only exception was athens their democracy survived for about 200 years athens had a great leader persons who held power for 30 years despite hostility and disturbances from sports athens became a noble city with magnificent buildings there were great artists and great thinkers and therefore historians call this the age of pericles okay next one is glorious legacy the thinkers of pericles era sought to find a new objective basis for arriving at truth the greatest philosophers were socrates plato and aristotle democritus and epicurus developed a materialistic view of the world the historians Herodotus and Thucydides lived about this time. Okay, second question children. Write about India's position during classical position. India's position during classical period. The Kushan period corresponded with last days of Roman Republic when Julius Caesar was alive. The Kushan Empire is said to have sent an, assemb- sent an embassy to Augustus Caesar who succeeded Caesar. Julius Caesar. So, in your issue, you said, first, only there were 10 months. If we were 12 months, first, only 10 months were there. So, what happened? Uh, Julius Caesar, he thought his name should not be vanished. So, he inserted July in middle. If you put the name in the middle, you can put the name in the middle. January, March, April, May, June, July, you can put the name in the middle. ஐயோ நம்ம மட்டும் பத்தாது நம்ம பையனும் வரணும் சொல்லிட்டு அகஸ்ட் சீசர் அகு ஆகஸ்டையும் நடந்து கொண்டு வந்துடுறாங்க ஜூலைக்கு அப்புறம் ஆகஸ்ட் ஓகே ஆல் ரைட் ஸோ அகஸ்ட் சீஸ்டர் அகஸ்ட் சீசர் ஹூ சக்சீடட் ஜூலியஸ் இன் சவுத் இந்தியா கலபாரா பீரியட் வாஸ் த கரஸ்பாண்டிங் பீரியட் ஃபோர்த் அண்ட் ஃபிஃப்த் ஏடி டீ கூட் பெப்பர் பேர்ல்ஸ் ஐவ்ரி ப்ராக்கெட்ஸ் 
and precious stones were exported from the Malabar coast to Babylonia, Egypt, Greece and Rome. Eighteen major works of Sangam age, eight anthologies, Ette Tugai and ten idlis, idlis, Pattapattu compiles during the first three centuries of common era were composed during this period. Okay children, so it is a flourishing period. So I hope all of you understood. So we will meet in the next episode. Thank you.